Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of what? Say hello to the Sphinx. Blake and Danny share their home with Loki and Scout, male and female Sphinxes, a type of hairless cat. Some will have a soft down, but some will have no hair at all, including whiskers. I think that kind of affects their balance. So we find that they tend to be just a little more clumsy than a normal cat. Um, not that they're falling over all the time, but they do fall off things. <laughs> Clumsiness aside, these naked cats really are just cats. They like, all cats like sunbeams. Um, we've not ever had a problem with them getting sunburned, but yeah, you have to be more attentive to skin issues. The biggest thing is that they just get dirty. Um, the skin has, you know, a little bit of oil to it and they just can't keep themselves. They, they lick and clean themselves just like any cat would, but they can't keep up with it. There are clues as to what they'd look like if they had fur. Scout would be a tortie while Loki would wear a tuxedo. See his little paws are white and the rest of him's gray uh, with the cutout on his shirt. It's one of those quirky things you don't necessarily think about what color a cat's skin is, you just know what color their fur is, but uh, the fur is dictated by the pigment of the skin underneath. Blake has had fuzzy cats in the past and has had two other Sphinx cats before Loki and Scout. But because uh, of the experience with hairy cats and the hairballs and the allergies and the fur and things like that, uh, we were just drawn to this breed because they typically are more hypoallergenic. They don't have very much dander. They have a little, but not very much dander. But their first Sphinx cat, Singe, wasn't quite how they thought she would be. Uh, she assured us that all that hair on her would fall out, that that's the way it works with kittens. Of course, it was not true, so she had patches of hair, and so we named her Singe because she looked like she'd been in a fire. Uh, and we loved her, and she lived to be 13, and she was a, a great little cat. Blake strongly encourages doing your homework on the breed and the breeders, but no matter what, he and Danny love their Sphinx cats. They're little snuggle buddies. Because they're hairless, they do get colder, I think, more easily. Um, they, their temperature runs a little bit higher than I think a natural and traditional cat. Um, but they're very affectionate, partially I think because they like your body heat. Joy Hernandez for Pet Pals TV.